On time and on budget? Well, it doesn't look like it tonight for destroying World War II era mustard gas weapons at the Pueblo Chemical Depot. We heard from project managers at a meeting tonight. They tell us they are having more problems with the machines used to destroy the chemicals and issues regarding components found inside those decades old shells. Right now, just 5% of the 780,000 weapons have been destroyed. Nothing since last August. The site manager says he would rather have the process done carefully than quickly. We need to make sure the plant is, is truly in, in a working and a safe configuration uh, to protect the environment, protect our workers who have to work in that environment each day and in, in, the, in the various areas of the plant that are contaminated. Right now, it looks like the original deadline of July 2020 to have all the chemicals destroyed will not be met. As for the cost, managers would not venture a guess for us on how much it's cost so far or how much more it will cost taxpayers with these delays. Of course, we'll continue to track this for you.